Thank you, Catherine. Hello. Are we starting? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ashish Jina. I am here to represent NextDrop uh, for a conference where we're talking about a lot of technology. I have a very low-tech way of actually telling you about it, uh, but that's, I think, the fastest way for me to actually communicate this to you. What does NextDrop do? Uh, NextDrop basically takes information that people have in their heads or on pieces of paper where nobody actually looks at them and we make it live and available real time so that governments, people, NGOs can actually use it and put it to productive use, make a difference to people's lives. We're based in India, in, uh, in the city of Hubli. Uh, this is a city of about a million people. What we're doing there is, this is one application, this is the first application that we have. Basically what happens is, in my home country of India, there's a lot of people, about 85-90% of the population lives in areas where water supply is, uh, is, is not permanent. So you don't get water all the time. You, don't, you can't turn the tap on and get water in every time. Uh, you can be, you can get it if you're lucky enough or rich enough to actually have a huge tank on the top of your house, but most people don't have that. So what you're doing is you're either, you know, using some of these and it takes a lot of these because sometimes you get water every four or five days or you have to be willing to stand in line in the sun. A lot of women and children do this, deprives them of gainful employment, deprives young girls of, you know, time that they could spend in school and other things. Uh, what we're doing is, uh, we're actually taking information from the water utility, working with people in the water utility. There's people who actually go out and turn valves, and those valves will then deliver water to houses in about 30 to 40 minutes. What we're telling them is, all you need to do, in addition to what you're already doing, is, you know, you used to actually write this information down in a piece of paper which nobody ever saw except for the person who actually took this photograph, and I, that is a fact. Um, and uh, what we're saying is, in addition to doing that, you spend 30 seconds every time you turn a valve, calling a phone number, and all the phone, num phone asks you is, what uh, val valveman number are you? And there's about 50 of these people in a million uh, strong uh, city. Uh, you say, you, you just type in five, you know, two, five, they ask you, next question is, which valve did you actually turn on? And you put a number of the valve down, Within two to five seconds, every single person that, that in the in the water utilities area that is served by that valve gets a message saying your water will arrive in 30 to 60 minutes. So it gives them a lot of uh, advance warning. They can actually do a lot of other things that they would normally otherwise not not otherwise not do. Uh, we do this with not iPhones. We do this with phones like this or even worse looking ones. Uh, what we're essentially doing is also providing uh, the water utility with information on a Google Maps interface and a whole bunch of other metrics to actually say, you know, your people are turning on valves at this time for how long and uh, gives, them a, gives them the ability to actually see things that they would not normally other do, otherwise do and also gives them the ability to actually predict problems that might happen five, ten days when it's too late and it costs them a lot of money and time to actually use it. So, what we're doing is we're taking Kanta Aunty here and basically allowing her not to miss her daily soaps, make sure that she can actually talk to all her friends and go out and meet them and, you know, in addition to a whole bunch of things. I'd be very happy to answer all your questions either now or at the reception or later uh, if you have any. Sorry? You were saying this is the first application? This is the first application in mind. Uh, the way we look at it is any place where governments or large bodies have in pieces of information that are not easily being transported, uh, transferred to people who use them, uh, we can do this. So, you know, things like where you're providing a large part, large parts of the world, uh, governments provide food shipments. People walk tens of miles to actually get them. Get told, come tomorrow, come day after. Uh, you, if you subscribe to this, you know exactly when the truck lands up, and you can go there. Pensions, uh, anything basic. Hospitals where there's long wait times, government hospitals where you know sometimes people wait days and days for, for their turn. You sign up, you can get an you know you can get an alert. Saves you a lot of time, saves you from having to basically spend days that you normally would have been working or doing other productive things, just sitting around and doing. It. So you're improving the supply chain to the end end user. Uh, that's not what we're doing, but we're working with the water utility to actually make this more predictable, allows them to actually see what's going on in the system, something that they had a lot of trouble doing earlier. So it makes it more predictable, it makes gives them the tools and the information that they need to actually make, make changes. Now, whether the money is available to actually make those changes is a different matter. But it'll happen at some point. Thank you all for your attention. Everybody go to the next station, clockwise. Everybody go to the next station.